This is demonstration on how to use Premium Reporting API. Once you are in Premium Reporting API forge.autodesk.com, you will find two links. The first one is the tutorials that has examples explained step by step. And for more technical details, navigate to API Reference Guide. Now going to the tutorials, there is usage query information as well as export usage information. And before you begin using this API, you need to register an app as well as acquire access token. On navigating to this links, it will explain in detail. But for this demo, I will quickly walk you through. Once you have logged into forge.autodesk.com, you navigate to my apps and you click on create app. You provide the details and make sure you have selected premium reporting API. Once you have done that, in your My Apps page, you will see this app added with the details such as client ID and callback URL, which is then used to generate auth token. Now I'm using Postman, but this step can be automated uh, to generate the access token. This is the auth URL and I'm using information from my app such as client ID and callback URL with the scope of data right to generate new access token. This access token can then be used to access all other APIs. Coming back to documentation, in the API reference, you can get details of how to use these APIs, such as what's in the request body, the parameters, the response, and the response body. Now for the post usage query API, in the request body, we can specify fields and metrics, and the documentation for that can be found here. This lists all the available fields and metrics along with any kind of limitations on their usage. Once you have placed a usage query post request in the response, you would get an ID. This is nothing but the query ID, which can then be used with the get usage query by query ID API to get the result. Now coming to post export request. This is to request for an export in either CSV, Excel or JSON format. And the available reports are subscriptions, users, usage, or you can request all. Again, in this case, the response will have an ID, which is the export ID that can be then used with the get exports by export ID to get the download URL. Uh, from where you can download the CSV, Excel or JSON, whatever you had requested for. There is also get exports API to get details of all the exports you have requested so far. In addition to this, there is also get context API for admins to get the details of all the teams that they're managing. 